Hello and welcome to our Bite Size PD. Today we are going to be looking at Civic Online Reasoning. So Civic Online Re Reasoning is a website built from Stanford History Education Group that deals with helping students understand how to consume online information. So all you need to do is go to cor.stanford.edu or you can search for Civic Online Reasoning. It'll be the first thing that pops up. But you should get to this home page. So Civic Online Reasoning. The first thing you want to do is create an account up in the top right hand corner. I've already signed in, but create an account. Um, sign in and that gives you free access to all of their information. As this paragraph says right here on the front, Civic Online Reasoning is really designed to provide students lessons and assessments that help teach students evaluate online information that affects them, their communities, and the world. So it really is an excellent resource for helping teach students how to consume information online. Um, how it's designed is that up in the top left corner you see the different tabs. It talks about curriculum, what's at stake, videos and research. What's at stake? In social studies, we like to say our democracy is at risk, and it really is. If you look at democracy in the form of what is online and the information that's out there, um, we are plagued by mis, dis, and malinformation, and civic online reasoning is one tool to help us navigate that. What I love about civic online reasoning is it has built-in curriculum, lessons, assessments, and different collections. So that's what I'm going to walk you through today. So the basis for um, the Stanford Online Reasoning materials, uh, or the Civic Online Reasoning materials, are these three questions. Right here on the left it says who's behind the information, what is the evidence, and what do the other sources say. Those are the three questions that we want kids to be able to ask when they're consuming information. So up here you can look at the tabs, you can look at lessons and assessments. You can look at just the lessons. You can look at just the assessments or several collections that I'll try to point out to you. So the first one to look at is, is, and I think the best place to start, is just the lessons. And each colored tab, you can sort them by the, the primary questions. So getting started, if you look at who's behind the information, if you click on who's behind the information, it gives you a couple entry points. Then it goes into intro to lateral reading, lateral reading resources and practices, and so on and so forth. You can look at even domain names, sponsored content, her, um, and then it has some different case studies that it goes through. And there's always more that you can look down to read through. If you look at what's the evidence, same thing. If you're trying to get students to, to ask that question upon information that they are looking at online, Here's your introduction lesson. Um, here's a different place. The little start here ta tab is kind of helpful as to where you can start. Popular one, evaluating photos is great. Um, but it looks like, looks like you can um, change and alter what you want to choose to select in order to help teach your students. You can go to what the other sources say. So those three primary questions are what drives the online reasoning, uh, civic online reasoning. There are also some assessments. If you go up to the top tab, you can click on assessments. And when you click on assessments, if you wanted to, to like comparing articles, this is the reason that you sign in. Once you sign in, right here on the right, you can view the assessment which then pops up a PDF that you can then print out or put into your Canvas page. But it gives two different little articles or two different little uh, images in this case, and it gives you a prompt to have them respond to that. And that's your quick assessment to see if they are learning what you want them to learn about consuming evidence. You can also look at their rubric. Each assessment has a rubric to show mastery, emerging, or beginning. Um, you can adapt and use that as you want. It gives you some different ideas of what students might say, both in the emerging or the beginning categories, and kind of walks you through what you're looking for for each item. So the assessments are designed to be very quick, very useful, and very pinpointed to a particular um, topic or subject in consuming information. Right here on the left, we go back to all lessons and assessments, click on assessments, 
And once again, whatever category you're trying to teach, there's teaching resources with lessons and assessment lessons. What do other sources say? Researching a claim, here's how you could assess your students on how they are researching one particular claim. Going back to the top, um, another good place to look at is the collections. If you look at the collections, you have uh, intro lessons. So all the different intro lessons for the different topics are all grouped together. So if you wanted to focus on that, would be great. Um, if you wanted to look at just teaching lateral reading, you have the different lateral reading sections that you wanted to go for. If you wanted to focus on Understanding and learning yourself for professional development. Here's some the professional learning framework. So it goes walks you through all those different pieces in each category, all nicely collected together. And then click restraint, posters. It has all those different uh, collections together. What I like is there's also some very specific for the science classroom. So this is not just for social studies, but between social studies and science, you can almost link those to almost any other topic as well. If you wanted some posters, you can look at the posters to download. So a lateral reading poster to put in your room, access your materials. Here again, you'd have to uh, log in, but then it would give you a nice little uh, printable PDF that you could then print posters um, to put in your room to walk students through the process of lateral reading. The last thing I'll have you uh, look at is up here on the video section, the video tab. The Civic Online Reasoning people have teamed up with uh, John Green from the Crash Course series. And if you look right here, it says Navigating Digital Information. If you click on that, it gives you the nice link to the YouTube video on the crash course navigating digital information that gives you the whole preview or if you go back there's 10 videos all the way down here that look at different topics in social media click restraint data and infographics uh, teaching your students how to consume and become better consumers of information so those, those John Green videos are very popular with students. Those of uh, you in the history is are set up to do that already. A lot of John Green crash course videos are very popular. Um, then if you go back to the top, there's also a research tab. You can view the research that, that supports what they're doing with Civic Online Reasoning. You can look at, the again, the videos, what's at stake, and all the curriculum. So hopefully that gives you a good overview of what's available for Civic Online Reasoning. I encourage you to go through and click on some of those lessons and assessments and cater those lessons to where you feel fits into your curriculum needs for those primary questions of who's behind the information, what's the evidence, and what do other sources say. Thanks for joining our Bite Size PD and good luck.